Cyril Pierce is a historian and author of Comrades in Conscience, a highly praised case study of conscientious objection in his hometown of Huddersfield. He spent many years researching the membership of the No Conscription Fellowship and others who resisted conscription. So to explore the wider context in which to frame the events in the film, we went to Huddersfield to interview Cyril. Okay, so we know that Britain had a fairly small standing army in 1914, yes. um, but there were plenty of volunteers in the early months of the war. Yeah. What were the main reasons for the government deciding by late 1915 mm. to abandon the voluntary principle and introduce conscription? Mm. Well, you said late 1915. I think it's probably true to say that the government was working towards conscription from the summer of 1915. Very apparent, certainly when you get into the early months of 1915, that the flood of men coming to the recruiting stations was starting to become more of a trickle. There was another little flood in May after the sinking of the Lusitania and all that that meant in terms of anger and the like. But on the whole, from, say, January 1915 through until the summer of 1915, the, uh, the numbers of men coming forward was beginning to taper off. There had been those right at the beginning of the war, and especially once we got past Christmas, that notional end of the war for those who were being optimistic in September 1914. Uh, once we got past Christmas and the scale of the war, the trench system was now completed by January 1916, uh, 15 rather, from the Channel to the Swiss Alps. Uh, the trench war was bedding in and that was the, going to be the nature of things, certainly on the Western Front, for the foreseeable future. Once that was established, it was very clear that if Britain couldn't, by voluntary means, um, make its contribution that the French allies required, then there had to be other means. And there were other military experts, Kitchener and others, who knew pretty well that by uh, the spring of 1915, some form of compulsion would have to be applied. The reason why it took so long from the summer of 1915 to the January of 1916, is that uh, the Liberal administration led by Asquith was seriously concerned that introducing a measure such as military conscription, which was anathema to the Liberal conscience and anathema to many branches within the Liberal Party and across the country, would seriously risk damaging the party, 